Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and to another pen tip. Today I'm going to make the conversion of this Majon Q1 fountain pen. So this pen comes with an eyedropper and why? Because this is an eyedropper filler but it is possible to convert it to accept a ink cartridge and that's what I'm going to show you in this pen tip. So first of all the materials you will need. You will need a cutting tool, can be a knife, um, you need pencil sharpener, you will need a Schaefer cartridge and something to measure tape or a ruler and so these are the tools you need let's talk about this so this pen is an eyedropper why would you convert it i would say because you bought it and you don't enjoy converters the question is if you don't like converter pens why do uh, eyedropper pens why did you buy this one and I, my answer is because I enjoyed the shape, I thought it was funny, but also because I have in my collection one this, it, that is kind of predecessor of this one, and this is the Platinum Glamour, and also one that is really, really, really similar to this one, the Tombow Egg or the 8 to weight, the Tombow Zoom 8 to weight FP, or Tombow Egg, which is the regular or the most common name. So you can see all these pens have the same kind of idea. The Platinum Glamour is a little different, came first, then this, and now the Q1. All these take short international cartridges, and I find it a very good feeling system. This one is an eyedropper, and I don't enjoy eyedropper. So, I was on the fence about buying this pen or not, not because of the cost or anything, but I don't really like eyedroppers. So I bought it and one of the first things I did was to convert it. So let's see what we will have to do. Let's put the pen here and what you need to get is a Schiffer cartridge. They come in boxes like this. You can get a full one. You can then pierce it here, take the ink out, or you can have already an empty one in your pen spare parts bag. Usually you don't need even to buy these, if you have one Schiffer pen around, they usually come with a spare cartridge, so maybe you have one, maybe you have an empty one. I never throw cartridges away unless they break. If not, I keep them. So, what do you need to do? First, you have to have the cartridge. You will see the part that is that has the opening. This part doesn't. There are, there are some which have this part transparent and some that have the part black, like that cartridge there. So, there are like these also. It also has the black part, but this one is all transparent. There are two versions. It doesn't matter which one you get. So, you have these and then you pick up your tape or your ruler and you will measure around 3.8 centimeters, more or less, and you will mark it. So, but you will measure 3.8 centimeters from starting on the on the closed part of the cartridge, not this one. So you do 3.8 there and then you make a mark. I already made it. And then you pick your knife and let's just cut it. I have it here. Let's put it on a harder surface which is a, a little art notebook cover. 
So you get here and you just try to cut it as uh, straight as you can. Sometimes it is a little bit harder and done. It's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. Then you can perfect it. Now, let's pick the Moonman. I will take this away because I don't need the hard part anymore. So, you unscrew the pen. Let's take this cartridge out. Let's just be sure that all the ink goes to the bottom to avoid big mess. And let's take this out. Just clean it a little bit on the outside. Yes, it, there can be some mess, but that's what you get when you get into doing yourself your stuff. So, what we have now is a kind of a, like a testing tube. It is empty and it is ready to be inserted. And that's what I tried. When I did this, let me try to put it in a way it doesn't fall. I didn't think about this part, but let's hope it stays there. So when I did this, I picked the... I, I tried several ink cartridges. No, uh, any of them worked besides the Schiffer. And then I tried pilot cartridges because I was almost sure they would fit, but they don't. So I decided let's try to put it there, but I couldn't. They are almost the same diameter and they it almost fits, but not exactly. So what I understood is that I need to make it a little bit narrower. So I thought a little bit and thought about a very interesting and cheap tool, which is a pencil sharpener. You can use any of the, the holes to sharpen it and you just trim the cartridge a little bit, maybe a little bit more. And again, I'm going to put this below just to be sure that I pick up all these plastic shavings like this. I think it is a little, it, it becomes thinner on the end, but mine didn't broke, didn't break so far. So let's see how long it will hold. But now it's done. You can pick up a file and then file it to be perfect, and then you have to force it. Oops, I was outside of the frame, and you need to force it a little bit to fit and it is not yet there, so you need to do it a little bit more again, so it will fit there. I think this one is a little imperfect because there is a hole there. So sorry about this, this cutting was not as clean as the one I did before. Sometimes that happens, what you have to do is Trim it a little bit again, like that. And you may ask, why all the trouble <laughs> if you don't really like eyedropper pens? You need to have all this trouble or you just skip buying this pen because you don't really like it. But I really wanted to have this one because this one will have a place in my collection because it is of the same family of that of those two Japanese pens, the Majong Majon Q Q one. So it's not getting more perfect, and, but let me see if it now it's not perfect any in any way, but. Maybe I can already fit it and you will understand the how it works. If I don't, maybe I will need to stop the video and 
work this off camera so you have the time to to check it later instead of watching me struggling with this but now it's fit on place now you just do the very difficult procedure which is to screw the barrel again and the cap and the pen is ready of course once you can find that it fits on the pen you need to take it out again and there is an ink spill here another spot to my background so let me clean this a little bit so when you have this part like this you just pick up a syringe or the eyedropper that comes with the pen you go to a bottle an ink bottle you fill it this is not completely full now you fill this and then you come here you put this cartridge inside now with ink you may need to tap it a little bit for the ink to follow and then you screw this part and the pen will be ready to write maybe not now because I had it and kept for a long while but this is the Mad John Q1 fountain pen which is a nice short pen that is now a cartridge pen you may think also and if the cartridge breaks and ink spills all over there's no problem this pen is prepared to be an eyedropper if ink spills out of the cartridge it will be contained inside the barrel so no big damage now you can buy this pen even if you don't like eyedropper pens because you can convert it if that is the way you prefer to use it so it works you have here the instructions and try it or just let me know if you did if you are happy with it if it makes sense to you or no sense at all so this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this pen tip and i will meet you soon here on the channel bye